2015 has been a good start for me. I got an opportunity to travel to New York. Thereafter, I came on February, I traveled to Spain for a competition, half marathon. I won as a world champion, and uh, next year I'll be flying to Germany, and now come and prepare fully for the London Marathon. It has been in my life that when I always want to do something, I always want to do, want to do it to, the, to my best. I don't want to do, to do this just for, for, for the sake. I decided to let me do it to my best and try to achieve and go further to where the other guys have reached. I really train so hard. Despite the races that I've won, I really know that to be at the top is not easy. Yeah, training was nice. Huh? Wilson comes from this area. Wilson Kipsang was a very disciplined boy when, when he was here. He used to walk about, uh, for about five kilometers to school, but there is no day he came late. Kipsang is a very chapel guy. That guy is uh, really my mentor. Wilson Kipsang is a, a role model. Yes. Uh, he's a good guy. It's my prayer that he's going to win the London Marathon because I've seen his commitment. He's really now coming into his best as an older athlete. really to make sure that the people of my society feels me. To become a, a motivation to the young guys is only when you get involved in what they are doing, then they feel that they are really part of your success. Wilson kind of matured very slowly into the sport. Somebody who kind of ever so slowly built up over the years. And, and that's what you need for marathon training. You need to be somebody who's really prepared to wait for your opportunity to come. For me, I really believe that uh, to break a world record, you have to be very strong in the mind. If you really feel and have that focus and have that passion, then when it comes to implementing, training, preparing, you find that you can do it. Mm -hmm.